Hello and welcome. In this exercise, we will compare two arrays to find the number of differing elements between them. We will use the C programming language. Let's start. Given two arrays of type int, each one with 1024 slots, find the number of elements in the first array that are not in the second. Consider only positive numbers. Take into consideration duplicate numbers as well. If, for example, an element is repeated twice in the first array, called array 0, but this number is not present in the second array, array 1, then the total count must be increased by 2 and not by 1. The two arrays end with minus 1, which is a dummy value to know where the array limit is. Save the result in the diff count variable and print the result on the screen. Important note, numbers in both arrays do not occupy all 1024 slots. For example, given these two arrays, the result must be 3. Use this hint. If you want, pause the video now and just think for a moment how to solve this problem. Let's imagine to have an array with millions of elements, instead of just a few of them like in the example. We could use several while loops to iterate through the arrays. The termination conditions of the two while loops are reaching length for the iterators or reaching the dummy minus one element in the array. Let's try to solve the problem on pen and paper first. We need to compare the first element of array 0, i.e. 1, with all elements of array 1. Since 1 is not present in array 1, div count is set to 1. Let's consider the element 10. We skip the first two elements of array 1, which are 4 and 9, but we find 10 as third element which is the same as the one we're already considering in array 0. In this case, diff count remains unaltered, and we must keep going. This process must be repeated until we reach the end of array 0. So, we expect our final result to be 4. You find this logic translated in the following C program. Let's have a look at the most important parts. At line 2, we use stdbool.h to implement boolean variables. At line 15, we continue to iterate over array 0 until we remain in the fifth length of the array and until we don't find minus 1. At line 20, we iterate one element at a time in array 1. At line 22, we get to the end of array 1 without finding any equal element. This means that there is at least one difference. So, we set the has diff flag and we exit from the for loop by setting the done flag. If an equal element is found between the two arrays, then we need to quit the internal loop. In this case we pass to the next element of array 0. If a difference between the two arrays is found, we increase the difference count. Now, let's execute the program and see what happens. we get 4 as output. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.